Hi everyone, welcome back to Aphrodite Mininil Tarot. Thanks very much for joining our channel today. It is very much appreciated. Just going to be doing a reading for Leo. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, I did get this as, as a request and my apologies if I haven't kept up with other requests, but it's been quite busy. But, all right, Leo, please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't make the story fit if it's not your story. Sometimes I do say he or she. Sometimes the story might be vice versa. Okay. Oh, I've never received that card before. Okay. All right, Leo. Don't know why you keep getting this card. All right, Leo. You've got a bit of um, this bit of stress coming your your way, Leo. Okay, a lot of anger, a bit of sorrow, and um, a few tears. Okay, there there is a little bit of unhappiness and. The reason why you're unhappy is is because that um, sometimes you feel like you need support too. And even though you don't reach out and ask for it, Leo, there are people there that will help you and support you if you speak up. You just don't like to show your weaknesses, okay? But there's also a person, um, a person you love is not changing. Everything is the same. Um, you are a little bit possessive of this person that you love um, and they do require more patience and consistency but um, if you're willing to put in the, the work then you know you will receive a good a good outcome all right so this is somebody that um, you want to see and um, this person is bringing in a positive change for you, okay? There seems to be a sudden relocation, finding something of value, okay? Or well, this person that, you know, you're connected with is going to find, uh, you know, um, they're moving, they're going to relocate and because there's something good that's going to come their way, okay? Um, but... Here it's telling you, Leo, it's a bit of a mixed bag, but here it's telling you that you will receive support from the people that you love and who love you to solve your, your troubles. Happiness, hope and beauty are apparent. Um, there is, you are staying optimistic and, and hope, um, you know, you got you got hope that things are going to work out and um, everything will fall into place at, at its right time, okay? So maybe at the time that this person is going to move, um, that you'll be able to um, receive some sort of support maybe, or this is what you've been waiting for. I, I'm not really sure here what that means, but it's almost like you're being patient, waiting on something to happen. And I have a period of six months here that this situation will change, okay? So if you ask for balance and, and keep this love, yeah, it's a love you want to keep a secret or you, you know, you may get into trouble, okay? So there is a passionate meeting and sexuality is involved here, all right? But why are you angry here? You're, you're stressed. You're, you're angry and you're stressed and you're upset and may have nothing to do with this person. It could be a separate thing, but I've got up here that somebody doesn't want to change. Somebody that you're dealing with does not want to change, Leo. But let's look into it a little bit more, okay? Maybe I can go here and see what this is going to tell me. Okay, well, I have an air sign here. I have an air sign here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I have a water sign here, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. All right, there is a honeymoon period. Attending somebody's wedding. Well, let's give me tell me. Right. You've got challenges ahead, but 
you know, if you make some good decisions here, Leo, that you'll overcome these challenges and healing will take effect, okay? So I kind of feel, Leo, that you may be traveling with an air sign and then you're, you're traveling um, either with or to a water sign. Two different people here. We have a situation that is going to heal, okay? You're going to take somebody out on a date night. So, um, you know, you're taking somebody out to be wined and dined. I feel like the reason why you're doing that is because you want to communicate and you want to speak some truth because maybe there's an elephant in the room that needs to be addressed, okay? Um, yeah. You also have an earth sign around you, a confession, right? Use your intuition on this earth sign. I always get an earth sign around you, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Seems to be some red flags that you're ignoring, okay? And if you keep ignoring these red flags, they're going to come back to bite you. All right? So I don't know how many people you're involved with right now, okay? But I certainly have three individuals here, and you. And you. There's the fire sign. Is that light? Just one second. Okay, I don't know if that's any better, but yeah, we have you as the fire sign. We have a water sign around you, an earth sign around you, and an air sign around you. Okay, now I don't know who you're taking out on a date night, but there's somebody that you want to talk to, somebody you want to clear the air with. Okay. Um, like you're going with your intuition on something well, one of these people are going away but they'll be back okay expect to hear from them soon they, yeah somebody's traveling and you will travel soon too leo you're traveling very soon narcissist someone is too full of themselves okay all right I don't know which one of these people are too full of themselves, okay? Any more for Leo? Any more for Leo? Yeah, someone's coming back during a Mercury retrograde. We've got somebody in the middle and someone's trying to sabotage a connection that you've got. There is a move that is happening and we've got that back here where either you're moving or somebody that like it, it's, it's a wish of yours that this person would move. And um, I say coming in within six months for a change of res residence and moving in with somebody because that might give you a door. There, there might be a door that opens for you and it will give you a bit of security. Okay, you're worried about somebody's health, or this is could be your health. Okay, well, we have a cycle that's coming to an end. Fate, karma, something to an end and something new is beginning. Open up your heart and let this person in. Okay, they are who you manifested. And, um, you know, this is somebody that um, either you or Leo may have suffered a bit of a, a abuse or some sort of sexual abuse or something that went on in, in your, you know, in your past. But um, it has caused a lot of confusion. But th this cycle that is coming to an end will end up in, in a breakup and you'll feel like you're going through a divorce or you could be going through a divorce. Um, you're just waiting a few more months and then um, you'll realise that you need to, to move on, Okay. You need to move on and somebody's wasting your time and is unavailable. But there is going to be distance physically or emotionally between you and a partner, okay? Um, and I do feel that, yeah, you're worried about bad finances. Maybe somebody's got an addiction to sex here, okay? Yeah, but... Whatever it is, there's going to be open communication. And the reason why you're opening your communication is because you need to address an elephant in the room. Okay. Now, if you're dealing with an air sign, 
there is some sort of a, an attachment here. This person is always in their logical thinking. It doesn't make them a bad person. It just means that they like to overrule your decisions, which you don't like that, okay? If you're dealing with an earth sign, um, this person is a gold digger. I feel like that they, that all they want in life is just to be comfortable and, um, you know, enjoy, enjoying like, you know, social nights and friends and family and, but it's all, it's all a show for like, they want to be treated as like they're the king or the queen, but you're the king, you're the king. Okay. If you're dealing with a water sign, the water sign wants to be loved. They want emotions. They want a connection. They want sexual connection. Okay. Um, and if you're dealing with another fire sign like you, well, you're going to butt head to head on who wants to be in charge of this relationship. Okay. So I feel like for you, you have a lot of attention that is coming your way, but there's a fear of who you want to go towards. Okay. Um, but I do feel like there's one in particular that you are very connected to. Okay. And um, I also feel that you you're so connected to this person that, that you might be a little bit fearful of this connection. Um, so maybe that's why you're looking at other individuals, but you keep going back to this connection. So, you know, sometimes we, we shouldn't play with destiny. We should allow the universe to do its work and not be afraid of the, the destination. Okay. Um, because every, everybody comes into your life for a reason. And yes, use your own discernment, but, um, you know, these people are, are all coming into your life and it's almost like, you know what, I just want to be on my own. I just want to be left alone. I don't want to make a decision. Everybody can just sit back and wait until I'm ready. <laughs> all right. So I see you taking action. Something is happening in the next um, eight days something that's coming in very quick a decision that you're going to make you may have already made it um it was a head over heart decision but you know you were hanging on too closely um and too tight you know that and this has stopped you from moving forward but um you're going to be enjoying the results of all, all your hard work soon okay a celebration and success with those you care about so you, there will be some sort of a gathering that, you know, there's a lot of people there and um, a lot of single women, a lot of single men, whichever way you want to look at it, and all eyes are going to be on you, okay? And it is making you a little bit nervous, but, um, you know, where would you be without attention, Leo? <laughs> Seriously. But anyway, moving on and moving forward. Um, you're going to be keeping your own your goals, but you will be enjoying every moment, okay? Um, you need to be careful, Leo, because sometimes you like to see things that are not there, okay? And uh, I, I tell this story all the time where um, you can put shit in front of Leo and Leo will tell you that is gold because they're convinced that that is gold. And no matter how many times you tell them that's shit, it's not shit. Look at it. Look at it closely. It is not shit. Until you give up telling them and then eventually Leo sees it and says, oh, fuck, that was shit. But until they see it, it is gold. Okay. So be careful of seeing things that is not there. All right. I do see that you want your own space and, um, you know, you're you're taking charge of your life and, and you've got confidence this time. Okay. So finding the balance in your life and building your success is, is your main priority, okay? So I do see you're moving away from problems. Um, be mindful of what you take with you, all right? If you're going to move away from your problems, move away from your problems. Don't take them with you, okay? You don't need to take your problems into your next relationship. You don't need to take your problems into your next journey, okay? But I do see you moving on to calmer waters. You're going to go through a transition. You're exiting. You're moving. And you're moving beyond all your problems. Okay. You're on a different journey. You will be on a different journey. Um, you've been doing some deep thinking and researching um, how things are going to be. 
uh, what your future looks like and it does look good and whatever it is that you're moving away from or a person that you're moving away from um, they will come back to you with all these emotions but don't let the emotions get in the way of your decision leo okay all right so we have a brand new offer of love you're opening up your heart and you're receiving you are receiving you know affection and and this is a, a new not a new situation but um it's somebody that you want to give a full cup of love to okay whereas before you weren't giving a full cup of love so now you have the opportunity to open up your heart and and not only receive the emotions that is that you've been wanting for a long time but to also give those emotions leo okay so i see with um the world card here is everything you worked for is coming together so there will be something that you will end because you've accomplished that journey and it was successful um but the timing is like it's done it's completed okay so not only are you going to be traveling you're going to feel a sense of freedom for a little while and um you know give yourself some recognition for your hard work and effort and everything that you put in into a situation okay it hasn't failed it's just completed that's that's what i'm seeing so you will be releasing this heavy burden and because you're going to realize there's always another way of doing things okay and um you know You've been carrying a responsibility and stress for a long time and there's been blockages in front of you and you've kind of like lost a bit of faith along along the way and it has been very frustrating frustration frustrating for you okay um but you're going to release this you're going to release this you're on a passionate new beginning now okay and you will be taking actions on the ideas and you are very thinking you know you want desire you've got desire you've got this great desire okay and you've been hurt though because you realize the harsh truth about where your heart lies or how you feel about somebody or um you know you, you've been lying to yourself you've been lying to yourself because it's easier than than seeing the truth for what it is okay um, this also could be a third party. Yeah. But you know what? You're limiting to yourself to what you believe is possible. Okay. And that's why you stay in these toxic connections that you shouldn't be in. Okay. Um, materialistic things, obsessions, being chained, you know, repression, feeling powerless in, in a situation. But you're releasing yourself okay you're in your thoughts you're going to take some time out you're going to rest and then the answer will come okay but there's a lot of people involved in this situation okay and um some of these people have a positive approach some of these people have a negative approach okay but um don't allow other people to interfere in your in your business if you're going to make a decision make a decision you don't need everybody else's advice along the way so you will be taking a leap of faith and spreading your wings and you are going to fly okay you are being guarded by some deceit and concealment um this could be you leo you could have a third party and you're guarding that you're you know it could be protecting that you know um but I see you taking a leap of faith, okay? Um, we have the death card here. And I don't know if that's the leap of faith you're going to take towards maybe be a Scorpio. Maybe be, maybe be, is that a word? <laughs> maybe towards a Scorpio or you're going to see somebody. Um, yeah, maybe visiting a Scorpio or going to see. But look, there's growth coming your way um always when you leave something behind it always leads you to a new beginning um and you will be going through some sort of ending a cycle transformation okay um it, it it is time and it's necessary for you to make the change and it is a painful change but once you come out of it it's a beautiful 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 beginning okay so 
we've got the Hierophant and um, that could be something that's coming to a, an end with the death card, a commitment that you were were in and you were you were in this commitment because you felt obligated and you felt responsible and you felt that um, if you if you kept up with the tradition that things would work out in your favor okay but there are things that are being illuminated to you and that you might find your happiness somewhere else okay um, but you will be yeah you have a promiscuous energy here, yeah, Leo, and, you know, I can see where you try to, you know, be committed and find your happiness. I can see that, okay? But the emotions were not there, okay? So what you want is to be able to move forward with somebody who is coming in as a, as a water sign. I've got Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. <laughs> All three of them, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Okay? And I, I feel like things are going to move forward here, okay? Um, and I do see you walking away from something that is keeping you mentally tied and trapped. And I see you moving forward and you are going towards your wish fulfillment. Your wish fulfillment is coming in under your emotions being fulfilled is your wish fulfillment. Wow. Oh, where's all this coming from, Leo? You've got abundance that is coming your way and everything is going to be fruitful and, you know, you're going to get everything that you want in life and you're dealing with somebody that you got memories of the past with somebody that you will reach out to or they're reaching out to you and you're being a little bit nostalgic about this person and you're really thinking but you also have options here leo you know and if you don't have the options then you are very confused about this person from the past but you do have an emotional connection you do have the great sexual connection here with the promiscuous card you know um but are you mentally tied and trapped do you do you want to walk away from this situation even though that you know that you can have your wish fulfillment you can have everything that you want okay um so i kind of feel here with the confusion and the options this card is telling you don't let your focus close close you off to to this idea okay um you know because you have a, a new beginning and it's going to give you a lot of strength and a new cycle is going to to begin and you are going to come out of feeling stuck choosing a new direction focus on your goals okay so we have a twin flame we have a soulmate and um we also have somebody here that is focused on their home, their stability and their finances, okay? But we do have somebody here that's also being backstabbed by gossip, all right? And that is coming in from somebody that wanted to have a connection with you, but you chose to go in a different direction. So whoever this person is, man or woman, that you, you hurt by not giving them the opportunity that they seeked and it's coming in as the earth sign and the earth sign was there before okay that you chose to go in a different direction because you're very passionate and the earth sign wasn't passionate enough for you so although they they offered you something very tantalizing leo okay um feel like the time is right to to take action okay and there is something you're turning away from and be prepared there is grief and sorrow that is going to come your way a conversation that is going to come in very clear communication that's going to upset you it may put you at a crossroad and you will have sleepless nights okay but if you take a step back and look things at a you know different perspective so we have some bad news sorrow that is coming in very very quickly that will be delivered either by a doctor a solicitor or an air sign okay and you kind of like know this you know this is coming um you just don't know when it's coming so you're traveling you need to make some decisions there has been a huge change that is coming in um, we do have the Queen of Cups here. Um, we also have um, you opening your heart, okay, some connection you've got to the Queen of Cups, okay. Somebody who's going to help you to heal and somebody who's going to 
is open to to receive you know it seems like that you have this opportunity and even though you're going to move forward there's a change in the circumstances that stops you from going and i don't know whether it's got to do with something to do with the grief and sorrow So you're making a decision to kind of like stay where you are and um, think things through for a, a little while, okay? Um, but I don't know why you feel like nobody's there to help you, but there's plenty of people there to help you if you want the help, okay? So I see you continuing this in and out energy for a little bit longer, okay? Um, and, and you want to just pull back and, and make a plan and take a, um, you know, a different approach to things and be a little bit more conservative, as dull as it may be. And this is why it's not going to work out with the earth sign because between fire and earth, it's dull. It is dull, you know. Earth keeps wanting to build, fire keeps destroying it because they're not meant to be, okay. Well, that's that's how I see it. Because you've got to hear unfulfilled hopes and disappointments, okay? You have a doubt regarding this earth sign and what they really want. You just wanted a sexual connection, but they're going to want more from you, okay? Um, you really need to believe in yourself a little bit more, okay? But you are going to find strength and courage. And looking back and thinking about your life, you know, and how things went, you don't want to keep repeating the same cycle. You don't want to keep making the same mistakes. You will focus where your success is going to lie. You want equal give and take. You are manifesting, but you don't realize that what you manifested is already here. You're just choosing not to look at it, okay? So you got to believe in your personal power that the universe, you know, Leah is a very powerful manifestors, okay? But... You're not realizing that somebody's in your life to heal you, okay, to bring you balance and to have a victory. And you're going to make an offer to somebody. And this time you're willing to put in the hard work and effort. But justice is going to be in your favor. This person is not going to chase you, Leo. They're attracting you, they're not chasing you, okay? But everything that you planned is going to work out, okay? There may be challenges put in front of you, but trust your own counsel, okay? Because you're going to speak your truth. You're going to speak your mind to solve the problem. And once you see the truth, you will never go back, okay? So the truth is that you do have this new beginning that you're stalling with your own hands, okay? A connection that's supposed to be here from you, for you okay a connection that's supposed to be victorious something is supposed to come to an end and a new beginning you're supposed to be releasing a heavy burden and going towards your wish fulfillment but you're constantly at a crossroad all the time but somebody is able to fulfill you and your happiness and you do have this passionate new beginning okay and there's the offer and there's the plan and there's the healing Okay, and you're going to come out of feeling stuck. This is somebody that you manifested. A lover. A water sign. That is going to bring a lot of prosperity in the union between you and, and this person. So take a leap of faith. This person is highly intuitive. And this is you, Leo. You're watching this person. You're looking at this person. You know that that's the, your wish fulfillment and you need to put in the hard work and effort, okay? Stop watching from the scenes, from behind the scenes and make a choice. Make a choice, okay? Because I feel like that if you don't, if you don't make a choice, okay, something is going to happen very fast and a big argument that's going to happen and you're going to have to find your strength to deal with this, okay? Stop offering empty cups because many people can offer this. You're not offering anything special. So look at the truth for what it is, Leo. 
and offer a cup that's going to be overfilling, okay? And if you put in the equal give and take, you've got a soulmate for life, okay? And this is the person that's going to help you move on to calmer waters when this big change is coming in, okay? So we do have an apology. We do have an offer. I've got water all over here, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, okay? And a, a cycle that's going to begin, all right? But you are hurt. I know you're hurt, but you're willing to do this, okay? I do see this. It's something to do with the commitment that you're in that, that's hurting you. Something is hurting you, okay? So, yeah, you're moving. You're done. It's been a plan in the making, I, I feel, but... You're going towards your Ten of Cups, your happiness. All right, Leo. Um, okay, thank you for watching. And if you do want a personal reading, just go to my About section and shoot us through an email. And um, sorry that the videos are going to be coming out a bit slow because all of a sudden it's just like, what's going on here? Everybody all of a sudden wants a reading. <laughs> all right. Thanks, everybody. Press the like button if you like the video, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.